Hi everyone, welcome back to Outside Xbox. I'm Andy, joined by Mike. Hello! And we are making another video game cocktail. This time we're making the Bourbon City Blinder from Mafia 3. It's the signature drink of new Bordeaux. Bienvenue à la maison! Is it going to make us actually blind? Uh, well, I assume that's how we got the name. Sweet. Uh, we're going to find out how much do you use your vision? Oh, uh, not, not a lot when I'm drinking. Out of really? 100. Probably 80, 80, 81, 70, 70, 60, 45 on a good day. It's not, you know, hugely important to you. The Bourbon City Blinder mm -hmm. in, uh, was born in the French ward ah. of, of New Bordeaux. Right. Uh, party City, obviously. Excellent. Uh, would you like to hear the story of its invention? Yes, please. Yeah, right here, I'm here on the, the Mafia wiki. One bartender was done with a particularly rough shift working in the French ward. <laughs> Looking to unwind, he grabbed the first few bottles he could get his hands on and he mixed them together into a mason jar he had sitting around. Right. The bartender was so proud of his concoction, he spent the rest of the night stumbling around the town telling everyone of his creation. <laughs> Word of that. And another thing. <laughs> Word of the simple combination spread and has since become the signature drink of New Bordeaux with several hotspots claiming to be the home of the original blinder. I see, but they can't identify... Couldn't they just ask this barman who was probably oh, banged up yeah, for drunk was, and disorderly? He was too drunk. No one could ever ask him. <laughs> he was drunk forever and also blind. I'm feeling good about this one. Normally it's disastrous when I try and help make cocktails, but then yeah. I wasn't one of the people who nearly poisoned one of Outside Extra with a fatal dose of nutmeg. So. I don't remember that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I do. No, no one remembers. I do. You no one. me. No one. <laughs> As you can hear from that silence, the, no one remembers. The tribunal is ongoing. So the ingredients are... Right. One ounce of Humphreys bourbon. Now Humphreys bourbon is an in-universe brand of bourbon. Okay. So we have a... Can't tell what that is. It's, it could be any brand. It's a Brand bourbon, X Kentucky bourbon. bourbon <laughs> oh God, it says it on the back. It's yeah. Brand X. Brand X whiskey. Uh, two ounces of dark rum. Right. We have another unidentifiable brand of... Definitely impossible to tell what that rum is. Unidentifiable brand of rum. Uh, three ounces of ginger beer. Okay. Which we have here. Oh, uh, yep. Two dashes of aromatic bitters. Cool. I we didn't even know what these were until this morning when I went to Boston. Yeah, I thought they, um, I thought they weren't alcoholic, but apparently they're massively alcoholic. I mentioned them to my, I was like, oh, you know, um, Angostura bitters, and he was like, oh yeah, that's that's not alcoholic. I have it in orange juice for breakfast <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Turns out, not for breakfast. It's forty-four percent <laughs> alcohol. Uh, so I mean, that explains. I like to start the day flying. What can I say? It explains a lot about you in the mornings, actually. And um, one lime wedge. So how many ounces of the bourbon? One ounce of bourbon. So okay, let me just tell you that an ounce is in it in metric 28.413 milliliters. 28? So measure out exactly 28.413. Okay. Right. I'm doing the 4.413. 4 4.13. Okay, there we go. Correct. Oh, way more than <laughs> I'm a generous bartender, all right? Pouring it in. Yeah. All right, we need two ounces of okay. dark rum. So two ounces. Is that times two, right? Yeah, so like 56. 56.826 milliliters. Okay. 50. So measure that precisely. Okay. Okay, we're Would you like to know another interesting fact about the cocktail? Go while for it, yeah, absolutely. It. There we go. Um, I mean, that's a little more than 56. The record for the most Bourbon City blinders in a row is held by local New Bordeaux author Genevieve Fabry, <laughs> who consumed 18 in a row at Duffy's Irish Pub. Wow. And then died. Yeah, I bet, yeah. She passed out drunk and died, says the Mafia Wiki. <laughs> so, 18 of these? Yeah. So good, good luck to her. Next, we need three ounces yes. of ginger beer. Right. We've got fiery ginger beer here. This we is have, yeah. I think this, I feel like this is gonna taste great. Three ounces. Three ounces, okay. which in milliliters is, is 85.239. Okay, all right, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. 85, yeah, that's about right. 85.239. Yeah, I got the 239. Right, got the 239 in there. Okay. It's looking pretty good so looking far. Looking good. We need two dashes of your favorite morning pick-me-up. <laughs> Angostura bitters. Sweet, okay. So da a dash, just a simple, there's no measurement for this, just freestyle it. It's just a simple dash. Okay, that was a dash. Right. And um, that's another dash. That's okay, that's on the table. But that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do, you want, do you want me to describe what it tastes it's like? It's bartending. Yeah, tell me what it tastes Bitter? I'm going to say bitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say bitter, but with like a smoky note smoky. to it. Good. Nice. I think it's got bark in it. Okay, mm. bark. Right, we need a lime wedge to finish this off. Can do, Andy. Whoa. So, can okay. do. <laughs> he says as he mostly ramps, <laughs> ramps the lime <laughs> off the table. Okay. Okay, just a wedge. A simple wedge. Okay. I'm going to add some ice to this as well. Okay. And we're going to stir it. Just uh, careful. Don't so. want to spill all the giant amounts of booze in here. There we go. Pop that lime wedge in there. Yeah. Give it a stir. In it goes. Okay. Well, let, let's let's taste it first. See what okay. we think. See if we've got it right. See if we've got the recipe correct. 
That is strong, strong. and bitter. <laughs> and, and there might be some ginger beer in there. Delicious. Uh, delicious. You know how like some cocktails taste really nice? That probably doesn't, that just tastes strong. That's good, I like that. There we go. What can I say, I'm a, I'm a cocktail genius. Yeah, no, I'm digging that. Good job, new Bordeaux. <laughs> Do you reckon you could drink 18 of those? Uh, and then write a best and then die. Novel? Yeah, I think I could drink 18 of them and die. Mm, cool. Like equaling the record. Bouloir c'est pouvoir, eh? Bouloir c'est pouvoir! Okay, we're throwing it out to third party verification. Mm. Jane? What does it smell like over here? It smells like delicious cocktails. What have you been doing? It smells <laughs> like organised crime. It smells flammable. In new I will, I will say that. My kind of drink is. Um, Strong. Delicious. <laughs> Rum. Okay. So. This is more the strong kind. Um, That's the kind of face we're looking for. Yeah, it's alright. I all like right. ginger and lime. So I feel like with a bit more ginger beer, it would be more delicious. It's like a Moscow uh, Mule, but kind of disgusting. Yeah. What? Oh, Ooh, I just got a bit of. I've got a bit of the ginger beer repeating on me a little bit, so ah, there you go. Don't need to know that. Enjoy. I don't need That's, to know that. It's <laughs> information I didn't need. Ellen, I guarantee you okay. there is almost no poison in this. Ooh. I can basically guarantee there's no poison. Basically. That's the promise. <laughs> <laughs> apparent guarantee. Now, I like the smell yeah. already. I like bourbon. I'm very interested about this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This is probably the greatest reaction right. we've had to any of our cocktails. No so one smacked it out immediately. Yeah. It's nice. Do you feel like uh, maybe no one died. starting a career in organised crime in New Bordeaux? Yeah. After this? Yeah, I really think do. You can maybe take you, over the rackets. Yeah, drink drink these as you divvy up your criminal empire among yeah. your three most trusted consiglieri. Yeah? Yeah, Does it taste better with the with more ginger beer? It, it definitely does. I'm going to make up a second one. Ah. I'm going to put a sugared rim on it and test it on Luke. See how that goes. Oh yeah, mm. Luke. We have refined the recipe. The recipe. Yeah, we have worked on it. This is oh, an yeah. iteration. Come on. It actually looks really good. We've iterated oh. on the Bourbon City Blinder. I get 2.0. Now tell me mm. if this or if this isn't the greatest drink you've ever tasted. I mean, it actually it the looks is, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. Well, it I just say yes. yes. Just it say smells yes. really good. Drink yes. it. Drink the drink. Get it down the hatch. A five star review. Mmm. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, if I was given, genuinely, if I was given this in a bar, I would drink all of it. <gasps> yes! That's the first time that's ever happened! I mean, Amazing! That's literally true, pretty much of anything I'd be oh. drinking in a bar. Well, but, <laughs> but, like, I don't think I would remark to my friends that it was a bad cocktail. I think I'd think. Hmm, that wasn't worth eight pounds. I'd probably <laughs> drink it all. You know what it's like? It's like when you go somewhere and it's like two for one cocktails and you're like, oh good, but the cocktails are a little, you know, but not bad. Definitely a little not bad. Eh. You've gone from I would definitely drink this to a yeah. little eh. I would definitely drink it. Okay. And it is a little eh. I have seen you drink an entire bottle of mouthwash in a bar before. So. <laughs> that was a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Pharmacy. Bar under a bridge. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Good. All right. You are going to be hammered if you finish that. Really so this is the. I mean, this is a first for us. We've created a an actually, unqualified success, a drinkable cocktail <laughs> here on Outside Expo. <laughs> so you, now you can make one of these at home if you are of legal drinking age. Yes, very important. Where you live, that is very important. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and do anything that requires operate heavy machinery. Yeah, that. Do not do just, that. Yeah, don't drink if you're going to do anything at all. Just sit at home. Responsibly. Or un responsibly. Yeah. Responsibly. Responsibly. That's a good slogan. <laughs> I should remember that. Drink yeah, responsibly. Drink responsibly. Wow. Thanks to Mafia 3 for the Bourbon City Blinder. Thanks to the city of New Bordeaux, the great city of New Bordeaux. Yes, great town. Sorry about the organised crime problem, but your drinks are great. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and we will see you next time on Outside Xbox. We've got a Can gang of a hit squad. We're going to call in a hit yes. squad on the alligator. Yes. Yes. Deal with this alligator. On this target. <laughs> <laughs> this alligator. Here they come. Where are they? All right, fellas. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get, I want you to swim get into involved. the bite. If you get hurt by it, maybe they'll know that's your target. If you just like go and get lightly bitten. Yeah. Hey. Right. Hey. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oh no! Oh, wait, no, no! They're all being killed by alligators. No. No. Oh no! Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Oh, what are we going to tell their boss? What have we done? <laughs> oh.
Oh no, this was a terrible mistake. 